top secret exposed about Dangote refinery and the NNPC in Nigeria. So NNPC came out and said that Dangote, this is how much they'll be selling their fuel to them. And this is how much NNPC is going to be selling to Nigeria. Which Dangote refineries later came out and said that that was a misleading information that they never said the amount they're going to be selling their fuel. But uh, Dangote refineries refused to tell Nigerians like how much they are going to be selling their fuel, which Nigerians are kind of confused, my people. Initial time, we were are happy that, okay, now that we have a Dangote refinery in Nigeria, things are going to get better. Nigerians are going to be buying fuel in a cheaper price. But my people, that is not the case. Even Nigerians are more confused and they are now asking, why can't Dangote refinery sell their fuel direct to other fleet station in Nigeria. Why must it be only an NPC to buy fuel from Dangote and then sell to the other uh, fleet station in Nigeria? Even right now, Nigerians are kind of disappointed when it comes to Dangote refinery because Nigerians are saying, if we can, you know, continue buying fuel at this price, so what is the use of Dangote refinery in Nigeria? We thought that Dangote refineries is the prayer answered. But my people, that is not the case. Even before now, Nandi Kano said all these things that are happening now, but Nigerians did not even listen. Let me allow you guys to listen to what a very dark man have to say here about Dangote Refinery and the NNPC in Nigeria. The reason why you should not expect much from Dangote Refineries because <laughs> it's not going to solve any problem in Nigeria because the way things are going right now is like an NPC determines how much Dangote Refinery have to sell their fuel in Nigeria. Like a lot of deep things are really going on behind the sea. Let me allow you guys to hear what very dark man have to say here. I'm going to be right back. All right, so Dangote don't shock Unabi. Now, let me explain something. So, currently, Dangote fuel will be sold at 1,019 Naira in Boronu, 999 Naira in, in Kaduna, 992 Naira in Abuja, 980 in Rivers, 960 in Oyo, 950 in Lagos. NNPC reviews. Now, um, initially, you people thought he was the Messiah. Now, if you remember, I posted a video recently. I said, me, I have documents. But I can't post those documents, right? Because I know what I saw in what I saw. Do you understand? It is not in my place. But let me tell you the first problem that the Messiah had with uh, NMPC. You know why, I call, why I'm calling him the Messiah? Because a lot of you actually thought that he was the one that will come and rescue us. His refinery we turn for a price to 300 Naira. Do you understand? I was in that position too. Until I saw what I saw, I was like, wait a minute. This man and the Messiah at the end of the day, this man is trying to actually make more money for himself because he is not the Messiah. Now, based on what I saw, when Messiah was building a refinery, they allegedly gave Messiah crude. Messiah requested that, okay, you people will give me crude free crude let me test my refinery since i'm doing it i need crude to test the refinery to be sure of the kind of product i will be giving nigerians the president then signed that okay is you people should give him crude oil in order to test his refinery since this is the benefit for all of us in nigeria right when they gave the messiah crude do you know what Messiah allegedly used the crude to do? Messiah allegedly exported those crude outside and made more money for himself. That's what the Messiah did. He exported everything. He made more money there. A lot. And NPC found out that way too. The crude, where will they give you? You are supposed to use it here in Nigeria. Why are you exporting it outside and refining and refine it and making more money? Bring it back and make more money. Why? It became a problem. Messiah came out and started dropping one or two secrets. Nigerians start to they jump. They say, ah, Nigerians. Da, 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 da. But you know, people like me that have seen something. And you know this country now. We don't learn from the likes of Pidom. You understand? You see this country now. 
when you don't drop all the things that you need to drop for this mumu mumu nigerians whether you could come stand for your back they will start to decuss you yeah, yeah that very dark man you do too much and all that you understand so very dark man has seen what very dark man has seen i come out and i say wait here i don't see for this battle for a price will go that but people don't understand do you understand do you understand so at the end of the day messiah is actually the king of monopolizing just the way they got rid of allegedly got rid of ibeto cement based on messiah paru just the way they were trying to get rid of Bua based on Messiah Paro. Do you understand? A lot of things in this country now, only Messiah wants to have it. That is a problem. Do you understand? Now, the full oil. They don't carry and give Messiah now. That being said, you know, we say NPC better or NPC no better. Do you understand? But they would have made the other refineries work. The other two refineries, apart from Kaduna Refinery, they would have made them work. Because Kaduna Refinery is for trade by butter. You understand? That one is not to refine our type of fuel. It's for trade by butter. The other refineries is to refine our fuel. So why didn't they make it work? Sit down and think. Do you understand? Mm? And again, this fuel, where you see so? No, we say you know if you go down. If you know the cabal is where food the matter, I said Tinubu himself cannot do anything. If Tinubu decides to bring the fair price today, they will fight him. They will rather burn the country down. Yes, now. They will rather burn the country down. Do you know what it means? Say the people where they make 100, 100 billion every week. They will come stop to the make 100, 100 billion. They will come they give them. A, a, a hundred hundred million naira. Hey, come on, man. They won't take it. So the advice I have to President Bola and Etinubu, since they will fight, they will fight you. Since they will fight you, create electricity for Nigerians. Frustrate the demand of well. Frustrate the demand of well, President Bola and Etinubu. Create light. Put lights in every rural area so that they will stop buying fuel in generators. People are now bringing in electric cars. It will encourage electric car usage in Nigeria. Create power. Live there with this fuel thing. It is deep. The fuel thing is very deep. Nigerians, you people don't know. But it is very deep. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't say more than this. Yeah? But yes, President Bola met you know, yeah? You can't do anything. You can't. You are the president, but they will, they will like they go finish you. <laughs> they go finish your origin. They go scatter this country that may you touch this foreign price where they go up like this. Eh? You won't go a fair dollar. Who you are you? Yes, now president, who are you? President, who are you? Create power and frustrate the usage of and demand of fuel. Give Nigeria 24 hours power. Give Nigeria 24 hours electricity. That time, even if the fuel price is 2,000 naira per liter, but the demand would have reduced drastically. That before somebody buy fuel, person would not know, say, okay, what do I even need this fuel for? Where am I even going to? A lot of electric cars will enter this country. Electric bikes, electric keke. Then, what do we need fuel for? Then we will only be exporting those fuels. We will not be using it in Nigeria. We will just be exporting crude that we make with money. Create electricity, for example, I met in the boom. Create 24 hours power in the whole of Nigeria and watch how your government will be. Thank you very much. Don't play. The sad reality is that this government, they are not listening and they are not ready to listen. Like even this thing that is going on right now, like they are benefiting most from it. Yes, why poor Nigerians are the ones suffering? My people, waiting they happen for Nigeria is really, really heartbreaking. Like which way, my people?
So I said, make I bring this update too, so that you guys can know what is going on and what very dark man have to say concerning this matter. I hope you had everything that he said here, which I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Please, if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. Welcome to